morning, everybody. It is just about seven o'clock. I'm just running this out to the camper quick. Um, what I have here is my laundry basket. With all the clothes I'm gonna put in the camper for this weekend, at least it's the start of what I'm gonna put. I, I don't know. Actually, I should think that I really don't have any. I should put another shirt in there. Um, I have a lot of sweatshirts. <laughs> Because it's supposed to be chilly. As a matter of fact, Friday is supposed to be a whopping 63 degrees. But I need to think about the fact. I'm just going to pack my long, my long underwear shirt. Um, I need to think about the fact that we're going to be out when it's really chilly. Um, yeah, that's my shirt. And it's so funny. I actually bought a swimming suit because this place has like a pool and a hot tub and stuff, but I'm not even packing it because I'll freeze my little keister off. But anyway, so I'm gonna run it out to the camper, but this is my new plan here, is that I'm gonna bring everything out of my laundry basket and then just put my laundry basket in there because there's space for it. In the old camper, not space for that. So, um, oh, I was like, what did I come in here for? So yeah, so it's just kind of been a whirlwind. This is one of those weeks where I just keep vlogging and eventually I'll be able to edit something and get it up. By the way, in case you're curious, the swimsuits, I ordered some swimsuits from Swimsuits for All and I ended up keeping one top and one bottom. I had ordered three tops, two bottoms. The bottoms were not even close. They're the same size, but they were not even close on. The one was really small. The other one fit just fine. And then um, the tops, I just didn't like two of them. And I liked the one. So this is, I really liked this one because, let's be real, y'all. I mean, I have a chest, so I need, like, this kind of a top. So anyway, it's a really pretty color, and it just kind of blouses out. So, And then I got a little black like skirt thing I mean I'll hardly ever wear them so <laughs> let's be real uh, but I wanted to have it because I wanted to be able especially when we are camping in July there's a lake at the place we're camping in July we've not been there before but there's a lake we're camping at in July or there there <laughs> The place where we are camping in July, there is a lake and a couple of pools there too. So I thought, well, I just didn't want to be the only fuddy-duddy that if I felt like going into the pool, I couldn't because I didn't have a suit. And yeah, so there you go. I certainly could do like sh shorts and a and a t-shirt, but I'm trying to think, do I even own any shorts? I don't think I even own any shorts. I just don't, I don't like shorts. Never have. Um, but I wear capris like this usually. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go because I, my mind is going 40 miles an hour and none of them in the right direction and, and I'm just rambling. So I'm going to go, um, when I have a chance to show you guys something out there, I will, I promise. But yeah, I'm going to take that out and then, um, I'll check back in with you guys later. Good afternoon, you guys. So, uh, I forgot the vlog camera. <laughs> he goes, you got the camera? And I was like, oh man, I plugged it in so it would be charged and I forgot it. So we're going to have to use my phone. And I only tell you that. <laughs> I know, right? I only tell you that because like, it's, it's hard. I can't just like flip the screen. So I have to do multiple like flipping it around sort of clips. It's a whole thing. Anyway, I don't know if this is a new vlog. I don't know what's happening because I, I just keep vlogging and I haven't edited it in forever. So, um, we are headed off. We are, took us a little longer than I thought, but maybe right on schedule with him. I'm not really sure. We left about 4.30, give or take. Maybe 4.40, something like that. And it's about an hour and a half-ish, hour and 45 minute drive. There's actually somebody going slower than us. You should see this monstrosity. It's a huge boat. I'm sure that's what people say about our camper now. Look at that monstrosity. There's... I don't want to expect the door is past somebody. 
I know, right? <laughs> um, so in case there's lots of editing, by the way, I'm just trying to be very cognizant of if he needs his mirrors, I put my arm down and get it out of the way, you know. So yeah, this is the maiden voyage. We have named the camper. I don't think I've said that on the vlog yet. No. We named her Rosie. Rosie the Reflection. <laughs> Freddie and Rosie. Freddie and Rosie. That's a good couple name, don't you think? Yeah. And yeah, so we are gonna, well, I don't know what time exactly we're gonna get there. It says 6.20. I suspect it'll be closer to 6.30 with towing. And set up, we're gonna grab, we just have Manwich for dinner, Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, and some then, chips. Yes, I got you chips. And then um, Keith and Ange and I don't know, a couple of the kids maybe are going to stop over and visit while we have campfire and check out the camper and chit chat a little bit. Really? So yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, okay, let's not start PF tanks. Right. <laughs> we win. That's a whole other story. I'll explain it another time. But I just thought I would start the vlog and uh, we'll check in probably when we are there and set up. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. And uh, I haven't really done a walkthrough at all um, because, well, it's been a weird week. We'll, maybe we'll chat with them about that over coffee, huh? Maybe. The, <laughs> um, anyway, so the I'll show you guys. I'll come back and show you guys the bedroom. I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna walk down from the bedroom into. All right. So when you come out of the bedroom, this is the bathroom. And it was very nice to take a shower in. Nice and spacious. And um, nice little skylight, so it gives a little more headroom. And there's a, I have our stuff all packed up at this point, and it's a little after six, I think. 6.20. Um, and then, put this down. Towels, we have some towels already in the laundry bag. And there's more space down there. And then down there's where we have the special toilet paper and the chemicals that you put down in the, in the, toilet and everything. There's a little handlebar, a little um, fan. It's not dark outside. We just have a dark, a dark fan cover on that. And then as you come down the three steps here, we turn the lights on. <coughs> this is the living room kitchen area. So door to the outside is right here. I'm trying to do my best to give you guys perspective, but we have everything packed up because we need to, we want to get home and we have some stuff to get, get going on at home. So normally, um, we will not have all the food repacked up like this. Normally we would just go home and set up and then I would take it out. But because of the fact that the camper has to go in, um, which will explain in a little bit over coffee maybe while we're sitting in our chairs having coffee um speaking of let me turn the carry on so i left a cord here in case you need to charge your phone honey by the way oh i'm good okay um so uh, this is a big window here another window here and we'll give you the outside tour probably in july um those are cupboards up there. These cupboards, this is the Stogie cupboard. <laughs> That's all that's in these. So those ones open like that. And then the ones down here open like that. And then there's all kinds of room back there. And there's four of those. And what's kind of cool about these, um, these blinds is that you pull them up and then they soft open. So that's nice. Yeah, we are not in our favorite kind of campground this time, let me just tell you. Um, when you travel, all the blinds should be up, the guy told us, so just putting them up. But anyway, so you turn around, and if you're sitting in the recliners, this is what the view that you see. There's more storage up there, and this cabinet there has an outlet in it in case you have like a blu-ray or something there's a dvd built <coughs> player excuse me built into the radio which is in the center right there and then this is another storage there big drawer here and this has right now, i call this the, the total fun 
just games and stuff. These won't live here forever. They're just here for right now. Or maybe they will. I don't know. This is command strips. This is the toilet paper holder that came with our camper that uh, we probably won't put up. We didn't put up the last one either. Um, and then contact paper or whatever this is called, grip paper. I use that in the cupboards. I put some down, but I, as you guys know, I didn't have a ton of time to get everything handled. So um, this is the bar to close the camper that we put on the old one because we we're not sure if we're going to need it. So, and then of course, marshmallow roasters. And then this is the pantry, which I have taken everything out of for the most part. And the light turns on when you open it. And I keep the electric skillet in there. And then those things I use to kind of divide out the food in the pantry. When I have it packed in so it doesn't slide all over the place. I think we could just leave that bottled water in there, don't you think, Tom? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> breakfast. Um, has a convection oven microwave thingy. And then a three burner. And then stove. And then there's three drawers here. The, in the island here, there's three drawers. More under here. It's a lot of storage. Yep. Um, let me get up here. Oops. I'm smacking things. So this is the um, freezer, refrigerator, double-sided. Um, when the slide is closed, we can get it this side, but not the whole thing. And then up here... More storage. This is where the curry goes when it's traveling. And then up here we have just the dishes. And up there is the coffee pot that matches this, the percolator that we use on the fire sometimes. Um, a teapot to heat up water. And I just have them in a bin so they're easy for me to be able to reach and grab out of there. And then over here, our coffee cups go there. These are our other cups. I'm gonna get some new, smaller cups we've decided. There's just some things we've decided. And then this is like, these kind of cups but I need to be able to reach them so they're in a bin because <laughs> otherwise my arm doesn't go that and there you have it you guys that's the camper on the inside um so yesterday let me you a little bit while I get my yesterday we went to the races um to see Preston and it was so much fun um <clears throat> he had a really good night huh yeah, he did pretty well. Yeah, it's only his second year racing the sprint cars. The he used he raced micro sprints. I once called him a mini sprint, and he was not amused with me. Um, jokingly, of course. So he, this is his second year in the three sixty sprint. No, yeah, three three sixty sprint, and um, he started in third in his heat and finished in. He's finished like fifth, I think, well, he because he got, yeah, somebody, got somebody, <laughs> somebody hit him and come talk to you guys over here. Somebody hit him and spun him out or whatever, right? No, I think he was just trying to avoid someone that spun him. Oh, gotcha. So, boink. so anyway, um, but it was fun. And then in, in the beaming, he took. Second, oh, well, third. No, yeah, second. second. He took yep. second. He almost won on the last lap. Yep, it was really exciting. And then, and the, and we don't know where he ended up finishing in the feature, but yeah. he did well. I mean, it's only his second year, and he, he, I don't know, he did really well. He's such a good kid. <sighs> so yeah, so I'll bring my arm down a little bit. So we are up early, and have everything that we're pulling out of the camper out. Because um, we have a little damage to the camper. Just a little bit, right? Yeah, one of the casualties is sitting right up there on the... Yeah, if I the point it, you won't be able to see it. But there's caps on the end of the... Basically, Bob had to take a turn. And somebody... There's like these golf carts in the way when, he, when we were pulling in. And so... And I think it's part of it that we're a little taller than we used to be. Yeah. So a tree that he normally would have cleared, he did not clear. And so it it knocked off this cap, which isn't a big deal. And we thought that was all the damage that there was. But the really nice people next to us were like, oh, we have some damage on your roof, too. And then we realized there was damage on the awning where it's like it made a streak of pinholes right at the top, <sighs> right above the door, which is funny because of all the places, but not that we ever wanted to leak anywhere. So, um, and then when we leveled it, 
Um, the ground here is really soft and somehow with the auto leveling, it bent one of the jacks. So we were able to, you know, Bob was able to make it work for us to be camping safely, but we need to take it in and have that fixed. And it just is what it is, right? Yes. Stuff happens. It wasn't a very good first day. No. The camper, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Stuff happens. Um, but we bounced back. And I don't think we talked to you after Road America, but um, Bob, I, I was I was fine for me. You know, it was it wasn't super exciting, but um, you really enjoyed it. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and it's Road America is a road track, is that right? Yep, four miles, four mile road um, track. And what kind of cars and stuff did they? <clears throat> well, they can race anything. I mean, we did we see though. Oh, well, yeah, GT ones, twos, and threes, the Mazda series. Some open wheel yeah. and then some, you know, open class stuff. And one of Preston's friends was racing in it, which was cool. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. And then I got to change arms, sorry. All right. <laughs> and then we went, um, we went, or we went and got pizza and went over to their house, to Angie and Keith's house, and had pizza and just chit chat. And we came back here. And it's just been, we, this is a time where, while we call it camping, because we're in the camper. It wasn't really camping. No. It was more using this as a place to stay without, you know, paying for a hotel or something like that. And it was, it just worked out perfectly because yeah. it was, it's so close. Um, and if we were, I would, I would actually never, we said we would stay here again for this purpose. Right. I would never have a real camping weekend at this campground. Do you see all of this? There's, there's just, they're everywhere. It's not our type of camp. No, we prefer a lot more space between us and our neighbors, unless we know our neighbors. Right. <laughs> um, and normally, and I guess this is even calm. And it was louder last night. It was. But another yeah. thing I would say about this camper is you couldn't hear, I couldn't hear it. I heard a little bit. Up when you went to bed, did yeah. you? Oh, okay. I didn't. But I also was pretty, ti pretty tired. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, there you go. There's a rundown of the weekend. I apologize that I didn't vlog more. And I, you've, you probably saw some of the footage of stuff that I took before this explanation. But now you know what it is. And I probably put little things to explain. But anyway, we're going to have some coffee. Yep. Watch a little news probably. This is our routine in the morning. Um, and pack up and head home. We're going to do some prep for the gravel pad that's happening on Thursday. And that's that. There you have it. It's in a nutshell. So uh, we'll check in with you guys at some point here. I should say, in case you guys saw these and wondered what they were, those are foldable ottomans that you can put down here. They are a little grayer than I wanted, but it's a camper and they'll be fine. So you can have them up and have storage, like enough things in them, or you can have them down. For now, we just leave them down. So in case you saw those and wondered what the heck those are, Night. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Monday afternoon. I think it's about quarter after 4, 4.30. I don't even know. Uh, it's been a busy day. Catching up with being off on Friday. Phone calls to the camper dealership. Um, phone calls to the insurance company. You know, the use. Uh... <laughs> I mean, here, I have to set you on top of the candle for a second. I mean, what, what are you going to do? So, um, I don't really have much more information on the camper side. I mean, we can't, we can't really do anything, even really start a claim until they look at it. I mean, I talked to the insurance company and I said, well, they can't even look at it until the 8th. And she, the lady said, well, they need an estimate before they can start the claim. And it's just like this big circle. We can't get an estimate until they can look at it. They can't look at it until the 8th. They can't do it. Little, you see what I'm saying? I said, well, they're more than welcome to look at it before the estimate. I can I can drive them out to it. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Bob was working um, till 4 today instead of 1. He's covering for another guy that's on vacation today and tomorrow. And then um, Wednesday, he's working his regular schedule. And then Thursday, he's working 3 a.m. to 11 a.m., so that he can come home and help with the gravel pad for the camper. So that's that. That's the update on that. I was just putting away some 
laundry, some things that were air drying. And I did have my hair down and curled real cute today, and then I couldn't take it anymore, and up it went. Um, we are going to have... <laughs> I'm slightly embarrassed to say it, quite, quite honestly, but we're having Hamburger Helper for dinner. <laughs> Here's the situation. I made the homemade Hamburger Helper, you know, in the Instant Pot, and while it was delightful, it sort of made both of us crave the actual Hamburger Helper. So I said, well... We don't normally eat that stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's just loaded with sodium and that sort of thing. But anyway, I said fine. So that's what we're doing. There's some activity across the way at the house that's been for sale. There has been on and off over the last week. Today, there's three cars there. So I wonder if somebody purchased it, um, which would be cool, which means I need to get to baking. Um, because, you know, two neighbors means you have to bring some baked goods. So, I'm just going to work on answering some comments. I need to get the vlog live. It's uploaded, but I just need to fill out the description box and stuff. The, old, the last vlog. And yeah, it's been a beautiful day today. Absolutely beautiful. 70 degrees, I think. That's about what it is. Let's see. That's what it is in the house. 74 outside. No humidity. A little bit of wind. Absolutely delightful. So yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's my day in a nutshell. I'll, uh, oh, the other thing I was going to say is, um, let's go back into my office because I have to there. So first of all, somebody sent me this awesome shirt that says, it's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. And I don't know who sent it to me. <laughs> so thank you to whoever sent it to me. It came to my PO box and there wasn't like a, you know, sometimes there's a pack slip or something in there. It says who, and it didn't, nobody, it wasn't there. And then I also wanted to share with you that, and I will link her Etsy, or her Instagram that leads to her Etsy shop below, but she sent me these really cool luggage tags, and this one says traveling with Kristen since October 19th, 2002, which is our anniversary, and then mine says traveling with Bob since, isn't that such a cute idea? I love that, and what a great anniversary gift for somebody that you, like somebody you're just not quite sure what to get for them. I just think it's so, so, so cute. So I'm going to go on there and see if I can find something for my dad. I'm struggling. I don't know what to get dad for Father's Day. Um, sometimes I have a great idea. I need to put this away. I put out shoes and socks here on this box, which is tables for the camper. Um, like, outdoor tables for the camper. <laughs> I put out shoes and socks to go outside to do the camper pad yesterday. I don't think I even vlogged that. Um, yesterday, Bob and I measured out the 12 by 40 area for the camper. And then I spray painted the area. I'll go out and show you guys. <laughs> um, or maybe I can show you from here. It's, it, I don't... I, I don't love taking the camera outside because of the wind. It, it, it drives people crazy. But can you see out there the orange line? Let me try to... There, the orange line. So I sprayed all that. And then Bob took our edger and scored it so that when Keith and Ange come on Thursday, Keith can just lay down his bobcat and scoop it up. So do I have everything now? Yep, I'm going to sit down until Bobby gets home. And then I'm going to make some hamburger helper. I'm such a great one. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday morning. Um, it's 7.20. I just came out to grab something. I thought I would do a check-in. I'm just laughing. One of the debacles of the camping weekend was that this, which is the bag of manuals, got left at the foot of his chair, and it was somehow my fault. It's, oops, this goes in here. I mean... It's fine. <laughs> per usual, it's fine. Um, I just, <laughs> just one of those things that's always been a Bob game thing that, I don't know where I ended up, ended up sticking that cord, that he, <laughs> when he forgets something or something that somehow it's always my fault. <laughs> so he, uh, we were about an hour into the trip 
And he said, maybe we even vlogged that. I haven't edited the vlog, the footage from the camping trip. Um, he, did I keep that box? Yes, I did. He said, did you grab the manuals? And I said, no, did you? <laughs> like everything, oh, I know. I was going in here to slap some hairspray on the sides of my, after I do my makeup, especially bronzer, they get all, the sides will get all wonky like this, and that drives me crazy. All right, all better. Just gonna put some earrings in here. You know, for the Zoom call. Just try to make myself look more finished off. So I just had to, let me see you guys here. I just had to chuckle because I knew, and I was talking about it in my live this morning. I even went to his chair. What is my malfunction here? And looked like on the table because, I don't know, I can't, I just was surprised. He, I, I wouldn't have thought he would have stuck it on the ground. Anyway, I just kind of glanced over there, didn't see it and thought, okay, well he put it in the camper and moved on with my day. Um, so anyway. We also didn't have the manuals. Not that he would have looked at it to begin with, because he's a guy. They don't do that. So anyway, um, he got home really late from work last night. Was not in a very good mood because of it. So thus, I don't think I vlogged at all anymore last night, even though it was pretty late when I did. Um, and I have to say, I have to say this. <laughs> Hamburger Helper. Not as good as it once was. So I think I told you guys that we were we were both craving it, and I said to him after he ate it, I said, "It's not really very good, is it?" He goes, "No, it's really not." I'm like, "Well, good. I guess we got that out of our system." Oh, it just cracked me up. I'm quite certain that back when we ate it, there were things in it, ingredients or whatever in it, that have now since been banned from food. You know, trans fats or something. I don't know, but yeah, I just had to chuckle. Both of us were like, mm, "No, I mean, we'll eat the leftovers," but. That's all I have for you today so far. Um, and I can't remember when I talked to you I, yesterday. I don't think I had talked to the insurance company yet. So in the next couple of days, I guess the insurance person will come take a look. Originally, I had thought we were just going to be in this big circle of, you know, we can't start a claim until they have an estimate. They can't get an estimate until we can take it in. We can't take it in until July 8th. And then we'd have to wait and... We have camping trips planned, obviously, as does everybody, but it just was this big vicious circle of not knowing what was going on, so we are just, I'm just waiting now to hear this morning from um, the, uh, I don't know if it's an adjuster, inspector, whatever, who's going to come and take a look at the camper, so there you go. Oh, never double. Hey right, guys, it's about 10 to 7, we have eaten dinner. And I'm uh, just outside to chat with Bob. The weather is beautiful. What's happening rarely happens in Wisconsin. It's like 82 degrees outside, but the dew point is only 48. So it's delightful to sit outside. So I was sitting outside talking to Bob, and I have my Facebook thing for Red Aspen tonight. It's like a news, um, like what's happening sort of thing. They have it every week. So it's usually like 15 minutes. So I have that, and Bob's watering the flowers. And he's um, having a stogie. He's going to do a garden update for you. So I'm going to stick the camera out there. And uh, next thing is they will be big bad bugs. Well, good evening, everyone. Um, it's Tuesday, June 16th. And I thought, you know, I've been promising a garden update for a while. Um, as you know, it's been a whirlwind of activity here for the past few weeks. We've been very busy doing things and camper stuff and all kinds of stuff but uh, I just thought I'd uh, take an opportunity tonight here this evening uh, just got done watering the flowers and stuff and I will uh, give you a garden update on what we got growing here so um, looking over here you can see I have potatoes coming they're looking quite nicely um, it's been a little bit drier a little bit warmer now the last few days so stuff is really starting to take off um, got onions growing here they're doing really well um, got some cucumbers 
down here. I didn't think this one was going to make it when I bought it, but it's starting to show some signs of life. And then I also planted some from seed here and here. And they're starting to come through. And I got another plant here. I had to replant my lettuce. The first round didn't come up, but I got it replanted. You can see that's starting to come up. I got to do some weeding. Radishes are up. Um, and then my tomato plants, all looking really well. Uh, so far, pretty soon it'll be time to start tying them up and doing a little pruning on them so they don't get out of control. I got some pepper plants here. A couple of, uh, there's like a, a colored one, um, like a red yellowish one in the middle and the two outside ones are green. And then moving out here to the new garden. This is the new garden that we made this year and in here I have corn two types of sweet corn one on each end I hope you can see that pretty decent in the sunlight but uh, the corn's coming up pretty well again needs a little weeding but basically I just had my neighbor Bob till this up and then I went and got some compost from the landfill and just put a little compost on top and pretty much just planted it so um, considering I got uh, peas here in the middle they're starting to come up. I got a, a type of green bean here and then a type of green bean here. Now this, these are a little more sporadic. They didn't come up as well. So uh, as most of you know, I, I keep notes on what I plant. And uh, I'll have to take notes to get a note and see what uh, kind this was. Not to buy them next year, but maybe go with this variety because these are doing a lot better than these are. So, so yeah, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with the garden like I said I got to do some weeding I should do it tonight while it's a little cooler out uh, it's a little bit cooler tonight it's supposed to get pretty warm the next couple days so but I'll have to get in here and get some weeding done um, and get everything back under control so yeah that's how the garden's doing I said I'm I'm pretty happy with it so hopefully we'll uh, We'll be able to get some vegetables out of it and uh, enjoy ourselves with uh, fresh vegetables. So, all right, thanks for watching. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, and I just came out to get Bring my coffee cup out here, grab my water, and grab the camera, thought I would say hello. I need to get, where did I put that? I'm losing my mind. Um, oh, let me show you before I walk. How many times can I do that? There's my cakes. I made them last night and wrapped them up so they would stay nice and I will layer them up with the frosting. I think I said this yesterday. I don't even remember that uh, I need to, or not I need to, I made a birthday cake for my friend and for her birthday tomorrow since they are going to be here helping us with a gravel pad. So she wanted fun funny cake with cherry frosting. So the cakes are done and we'll frost them later. And then I don't have a cake stand or anything. So I'm just going to have to put it on a plate or something. I haven't quite decided. This is what happened this morning. Do you all ever like decide it's a good idea to clean your shower while you're taking a shower? Because that's the best way. But I'll tell you what. I, I can't remember if I've shown you or just talked to you guys, but... Frequently my shower, no matter how hard I scrub with every other thing I've used in my life, it would, in the grout here, would get like this pink stuff. And I'd scrub it with the, I scrub it with everything I've, I've ever, I've tried a bunch of things. Never came clean. Um, but I've been watching this Instagram called Go Clean Co. Like G-O-C-L-E-A-N-C-O. She's out of Canada. She cleans houses and things for a living. But anyway... Her miracle cleaning agent is Powdered Tide. Guess what? It's legit a miracle. Let's not forget what I came in here for. And so I'm just letting it dry because I was cleaning all of the... I cleaned all of the grout here too. I couldn't see anything there, but I just really wanted to... Or the floor there. Anyway. It worked. And I'm delightfully happy. But that's what I did this morning before I took a shower while I was in there. Because then I could get water and not worry about getting wet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, TMI. So, 
me see. Where where can I put you guys? I'll just put you here for a second. While I get out some Advil because I have a headache for like the 400th day in a row. Okay, not quite 400th day in a row, but at least five. And I haven't taken anything yet. I was just trying to let it go away. And it's not. So I can't take it anymore. I have to stare a long time at a computer screen today working on some spreadsheets. And therefore, I need to take the extreme measure of taking some Advil. It's not quite migraine status. It's just there all the time. And I don't think it's dehydration because I've done really well at drinking water lately. So I don't know. But I thought I would say hello and good morning to you guys. I'm hopeful today at my lunch I can get the vlog that was like the 7th or the 10th. It's the 17th, so it's like old footage. Um, I'm hoping I can get that up today on my lunch. It's up, it's low, it's uploaded and everything. I just had to fill out the description box and make it make a thumbnail. I just have not taken the time to do that. So that's gonna happen today. Where's my, where's my little thing? These little, it's a little coaster thing. My friend Paul bought me a couple of them when he came to visit as a hostess gift. And I love them. And it makes me think of him. So, there you have it. That's all I have for you guys this morning. Aside from a long day of spreadsheet stuff. So, I'm going to process a couple orders here. And then um, get on to that. That's, that's what's going to happen. So.